But I've seen over the past couple weeks, opinions have started to turn from the fan base on Josh. And I am n- I don't subscribe to that theory. I don't subscribe to the diva theory that, that he's trying to push the envelope, that he's being greedy. None of that. I am a huge fan of NFL running backs. And NFL running backs are a dying breed. They are unicorns to get guys like fucking Josh Jacobs who can come out and tote the rock and put a season together like he did last year. A guy that is still improving four years in of an NFL career at running back. You don't get those guys very often. And running backs are just, they run you to death, and then they send you out to pasture and they bring another one in. They just don't pay him anymore. And because of the rookie contract structure now, you can beat him to fucking death on that rookie deal and not have to really pay these guys and send them out to pasture. Let him go beat around as a fucking free agent around the league on a couple other teams and then ride out into the fucking sunset. Running backs don't get the Ezekiel Elliott deals. You don't get the fucking the big payday like quarterbacks get or wide receivers get. You get ran into the fucking ground by NFL ownership and sit, fucking sent out to pasture. Sent to the fucking glue factory like a fucking dead beat old ass horse. They expected Josh Jacobs to blow it, blow it up last year. They expected him to go out there and give his all for him to get injured, for him to get beat up, for him to be less than what he was last year. For them to justify just wiping their hands with him at the end of the season. But Josh Jacobs said, oh, no, no. Pump the motherfucking brakes. You're telling me I got to bet on me, motherfucker? I'll bet on me, and I'm going to go out there and show you what I can fucking do. And what did he do? He went out there in the middle of a fucking dysfunctional ass toilet bowl fucking year for the silver and black and was the number one player in his fucking position. The top dog running back in the National Football League. The number one fucking, the, the top enchilada. The, the fucking number one dude. Nobody else, arguably, was better than Josh Jacobs last year. He goes out there and says, all right, you, I got a bet on me, motherfucker. Trump this, bitch. And went out there and fucking just balls out and has an amazing year. And you're going to have the audacity to sit there and say, nah. Nah. I, we, we, we beat you to death last year. We put you through every ringer we could. Made you live through dysfunction. And we're going to tag you at the end of it. We're going to tag you and give you zero security past this year and say, all right, do it again. Can you do it again? That's what these motherfuckers are doing to them. In the position that has the highest risk of injury of any position on the fucking football field. The running back. The National Football League running back is the most prone to injury on the field, period. You're going to tell this guy, send him out there after he just laid it on the fucking, laid it all out for you as a franchise. Carried your ass. Basically carried you the year before to the postseason. You're going to tell him, do it again. And people are calling this guy a diva and saying he's money hungry. And that, that is such shit.